what we're going to do here is have a look at creating a roof that wraps around a taller structure. And you'll notice that I've put a few indents and projections on some of the sides just to show what happens around there. So I'm going to swap to a plan view and we're going to use the roof by footprint. Okay, and select the level of the roof, which is going to be level one. And then pick your type of roof construction and you may well want to create your own one. Then we've got boundary lines and I'm using the pick walls, defining slope, and I'm going to give it an overhang of 200. Um, normally I would extend it to the wall core, but I'm not too bothered on this one because it's just a quick demo of how to do this roof. Now you'll notice as I'm clicking here, I'm making sure that I keep the cursor on the outside so that it does that on the outside. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is get rid of the defining slope and get rid of the overhang and make it zero. And then I can click all of these internal walls by here. Now, if I zoom in by here, you'll see the pink line goes across there. Now, that is a problem. It will not work. So, therefore, I'm going to just adjust that and join those elements. And then I can go to boundary line, and now I'll just draw in the last little one there just to connect it up. So, I've got that one continuous pink line. And we've got those as the sloping ones on the outside. Press the big green tick. Let's look at it in 3D. There we go. So what you see is now we have the roof wrapped all the way around and it nicely wraps or indents around any other projections as well. And that is our wraparound roof.